Welcome back to G Man P, the great TV. If you tuned in, hit a like, share, and subscribe. If not, we ain't doing no tripping. Now, what we talking about today is um, what we talking about today is uh, you are what you eat. I was uh talking to somebody, and they just kept saying how they just get. A bunch of headaches all the time and I was trying to explain why I didn't get the a chance to talk to him but I used to get headaches a lot and one of the reason is you are what you eat I thought like a long time ago I thought that uh, you eat a lot of weight, uh, meat you'll pick up weight but not so much when you eat too much red meat clouds your it fogs your judgment and your uh thoughts and your brain it clogs it so i don't really i eat red meat but not so often you understand i eat chicken but now that uh the government they got a well they signed off on uh the lab meat so you got to be careful what you eat because inside these little labs that the government got they're creating chicken you understand that they're uh, they're making it. You understand? I don't know what, how they're doing it, but it's uh, it's not real chicken. It's made with inside the government, and and the government um, I think just passed it to be able to put it out there in the public. So you got to be why you better you got to be careful in what you eat. It's getting so bad. It's like you got to almost slaughter your own uh meat just to eat you understand because if you're getting it from the government you're not getting the right stuff and red uh red meat is no good you understand it's cool to eat it every once you kind of need it but every once in a while i was overly indulging in red meat and then always having headaches and didn't understand it's the food you understand um the best things for a human to eat is uh all different kind of vegetables, all different kind of fruits. You understand? That's the main source. And there's other little uh, side foods that you can eat too that won't harm you. You understand? So if you if you one of one of these people that's always experiencing headaches and not knowing why, your first thing you want to look at is. Uh, what do you eat every day? What do you consistently eat every day? You understand? Because your stomach is a straight shot to your brain. You understand? Your stomach is your second brain. You are what you eat. So if you eat in BS, what you think you're going to be thinking in your brain? BS. So that's how important health is wealth. Some people are like, oh, you healthy. You know what I'm saying? Some people, like the, the foods that are worthy of consuming are actually high priced you understand some people are like oh i'm not buying that. that's too high well i will buy it because you know you're getting the right stuff that you need and any fruit that don't got no seeds in it don't eat it you understand like oranges they got these one oranges i don't know the name of them but oranges, like when I was younger, oranges had nice big seeds in it. Now, it's like you got to go, you got to find around who's growing what. And like the stuff that's sold in the store, they don't have, like the oranges don't have seeds in them. They sh they they have no nutritional value to towards it. You understand? But all vegetables are good. Oh, like, like a lot of vegetables from back in the day, people don't really mess with. Like squash, that's that's amazing. Anything from back in the day that people really don't use a lot, them is the vegetables you want to eat, especially greens. You want green, you want to eat greens. Some people don't like vegetables, but it's good for your body. Once you can make your mind think that that's the good food and the bad food, I mean the uh, the bad food is the bad food. I mean, the bad food is the good food. You understand? 
Like I said, your, your stomach is one shot to your brain. So whatever you eat, that's that's who you are. You understand? You're going to thank it. It's just going to be everything. Ever Once I switched up my pattern of eating, I feel better. I think better. It's just everything so much clearer and better. But I still even got to watch because, like I said, the governments, um, they're letting people do uh, make these uh, lab foods like lab chicken you understand and then you got to watch out too because they were uh on some vegetables they were making uh making it off a 3d printer so you got to be wary on what you consume and, and, and what it is and, and be very vigilant of what you put what you put inside your body and another thing on top of that you have to exercise too you understand to have that energy, you got to exercise and eat healthy. Some people don't want to do that, but they be wondering why their body is uh, falling apart and uh, not right and always sick. And you understand? It's because it's what you eat. I don't drink no milk. You understand? Because milk, they say, but they lie and said milk. Um makes your bones stronger but actually it does the exact opposite because the only thing milk is is pus you understand i don't drink milk you know what i mean we've been lied to the government especially in the u.s i can't name i can't say what other people in other countries are doing because i ain't been there i didn't live there and i don't know how they moving you understand i'm just talking about the united states They've been lied to. So if you drink a milk, cut back. And if you are going to drink milk, drink almond milk. You understand? That 2% milk and all that is doing the exact opposite of what, they, what they're telling you. Like their health chart, they saying, oh, milk makes a body good. Actually, milk does the opposite. Milk tears your body down. Like I said, milk is pus. Do your own research. You don't have to take my word for it. Get up on the internet and do your own research. Natural, herbs, teas. It's good for your body. You understand? People ain't going to tell you that. They're going to just let you just buy all this. A lot of foods in that store is no good. You understand? You need a whole, like whole foods, that's probably the best place to shop at if you're a... Uh, eating healthy you understand if you're eating to live whole foods is the best place to go for real even down to the water you know what i'm saying tap water ain't no good for you because the pipes and, and the lead and all that bottle water is cool but you got to make sure you you you're consuming the right water you understand and some of that water that you think is good and um pure it really isn't because they put chemicals in it to make it pure and that's not what water's supposed to do so i just wanted to come up here and talk about like for the people that always have headaches if that just check out your eating patterns and what you're eating and change it up if it's if the things are no good or if it's unhealthy for your body. And you should see changes. And exercise too. Exercise is a major key. Even though I ain't been working out lately, I can see the difference from when I was when I was going out and doing my thing every day, day in and day out. You understand? It got to the point where you know, I would go to the gym at certain points, two, three in the afternoon or after I got off work when I was working and um, it just be overcrowded. You can't even get what you need done and, and concentrate on your body and you know what I'm saying? So it's like I got to the point where like, oh, I know everybody ain't going to be like me to wake up five o'clock in the morning every single solitary day and be at that gym. Well, I wake up at four in the morning and be at that gym at five in the morning 
every day. And I knew the only people that was really doing that was white people. Them was the only people in the gym and there wasn't a whole bunch of them. You understand? People wasn't really doing that. Getting up on the grind every day. Ready. Yeah, I'm about to get back on it. Yeah, I ain't been in the gym, but I'm about to get back in training and all that. I'm going, I'm about to get go hard. You know what I'm saying? And, and make sure you're taking the right, you can take supplements too. But make sure you you doing your research on these supplements and how can they help you. And, and especially the natural herbs. That's the best thing for you. You know what I'm saying? Sea moss, all that good stuff. But make sure you're getting the right sea moss too. You got to make sure because they're, they're, they're making fake sea moss.